Okay, sorry about that. We're back. Sorry, I seem to have lost the connection. So, I have a special painting tutorial for you tonight. So you see it's a composition on three nails. And the background colors are Water Baby and Cashmere Kind of Gal. So it's a baby blue and a baby gray. And then the colors for the birds, we have Blue-Eyed Beauty, Making Waves. We have Exhale. You can see the small belly and the branches are with Exhale. And you see I have all the colors on my palette. So I mix them with clear to make them easier to paint and to refresh while I'm working. I have my palette ready because I just did this demo on over on Instagram. And then the brushes I have are the micro striper brush and the mini gel striper. So we'll start by uh, painting the head of the bird. So you can see we have um, a dark blue, a head to the bird, and the wing is blue. So we'll start by painting that. So I have my nail tip ready. So I have Blue Eyed Beauty, mix a little bit with clear. And the micro or the mini gel striper. And then I just start by painting the head. So the head's kind of an oval shape. So we can paint out to the contour, then blend. And then just a little wing. So we're using this with a blue-eyed beauty. So if you guys have any questions, you're welcome to ask me. And if you get a chance to practice this design, I would love to see your practices. So then before I, can, before I cure, I'm just gonna take the blue-eyed beauty, and just do a little contour around the belly. Just so we can have a place. Place to put the belly of the bird. Then before I cure, I'm just gonna touch the borders to blend everywhere. And then we flash cure. The um, full curing time's 30 seconds, but we can flash cure any time for 10, 15 seconds as we're going along. So you can see we have a blue head and the wing, and then the belly of the bird is this brown color. So this is exhale mixed with clear to start. So I just take the color, mix it with clear with my mini gel striper. And now we can paint the belly of the bird. I just start with a lighter color. And just kind of color that in all the way down. Hi, Julia. Hi, Shannon. Hello, Brian. So nice to see everybody watching. So I just color in. So 
And if you need to, you can blend, but it's not really necessary. Then we can flash cure for 10, 15 seconds. Now we're gonna add a little bit darker color to the top of the head and along the body. So if you look along the top, we've got darker blue and we've got darker brown. So now just after 10, 15 seconds, we can go on. So I'll start in the eye area. It's a little bit darker color there. We can go all the way around the head. So along the top of the head, along the back of the bird. We can come down around the wing. We'll do a little shadow separating the head from the wing. Then connect the eye line all the way out. So we just draw the shadow color everywhere, clean my brush, so I'm using the mini gel striper, and I just press on the border between the colors, just where it's necessary. And then we flash cure. So we can, anytime we can flash cure for 10, 15 seconds. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of a darker brown color underneath the head. If I add more exhale to the clear mix. Now we can add a little bit of a darker brown. So we start under the head. Go all the way down around the belly. And next to the wing. And under the wing. Clean my brush and then touch to blend. So since we mix the color with clear, it's, it's blending automatically by itself. So it makes it very easy. And we can flash cure. And you can also see on the bottom of the belly, we have a small little white area. So I have Arctic Freeze. And a little bit of clear. So we can add just a little bit of the white and clear mix along the bottom, just to give the belly a little highlighted area. And a little bit in, a little few places on the head and on the wings, little highlights. And then we just press up and down on the border to blend. You can always add a little bit more of the brown color too to help with the blending. So now we'll cure that. So now with the same exhale color, I'm gonna do these little branches that you can see around the bird and on the other two nail tips. So that's the next step.
Okay, so now we cured. Now we can just do our little branch with exhale. So don't connect it to the bird. We wanna leave a little bit of room so we can do the small feet on the bird. And when you do the branch, you wanna have kind of like shaky, uh, shaky lines. So not perfectly smooth. A little bit like jagged lines are good. That looks more natural this way. And we can do a little branch behind. Another little small branch. It's freestyle, whatever you like. So then we cure that. And you can see we have branches on the other two nails. So if I did this composition on a client, I would probably do um, either the gray or the blue for the other nails and just a little bit of nail art as an accent. So we need to check to see where the branch is gonna start. So just little shaky lines. It's very light color. It's very easy. Okay, cure it. Now we'll see where the next one will start. A little bit on this corner. So I'm pressing kind of hard because I want to have these two lines because that helps me to shade the branch later. So I'm pressing really hard with my brush so I get these indentations. And then just finish with little shaky hand lines. Okay. So now we cure that. So now I'm going to use Making Waves um, without Mixed with Clear, just to do a little bit more contours along the top. As you can see, if you look at our bird, we've got the very, the outer edges are really dark. So now we do that with uh, Making Waves. Make sure you can see, and that I can see. So I'm using the Micro Striper brush and just going around the head with the full strength color. And a little bit under the head. A little bit on the upper part of the wing. And trace around the wing. Both sides. So I'm using the micro striper brush again. And I just do a little bit darker color where the eye is going to go. So on the eye line. So you can see the birds looking in this direction. So we'll do the beak now. Make sure we can see, okay. So we're just kind of sketching the shape of the beak. I'm gonna go back and define it with the art form, but just to kind of have an idea where it's gonna be. We can do a little bit of blending. And then now with exhale, and now I have the mini gel striper. 
So now with uh, exhale not mixed with clear, I'm just gonna add a little bit more intense brown color on the belly of the bird. So exhale is more of a, like a translucent color, so I, d I don't need clear as much to work with it compared to like white or making waves like dark blue colors, dark purple. The more pigments you have, the more you're gonna need clear to work with it. So you're gonna have to see, you know, with the brand that you use, how much clear you need or when you need it or when you don't. Also going to take the full strength exhale and do a little shadow on the bottom of the branch. That's about half the branch with the darker color. And a little bit of white along the upper border. So remember shaking lines, shaking hand lines, kind of like you had too much coffee. So just to give a little highlight to the branch, now we'll do the same to the upper branch. So I use the mini gel striper and I flatten it out. So I see I make it very flat. And then I can press to blend. Okay, so now we can cure. So the next step is now I'm going to use a little bit of uh, art form black gel paint, which I have already on my palette, you can see there. So I just use this to do the eye and the beak and the little claws for the bird and a couple little details on the other nails. So I have micro striper brush, black art form, Zoom a little bit. So we can start with the eye. So it's an oval shape. And we can do a little line along the top of the head. You can go along the back of the wing. Go around the wing. On the bottom side. The little pops of gel paint help to sharpen the picture. It brings everything into focus. You can do a little bit underneath the head. Tracing around the body just a little bit. You can go under the whole head. And a little bit along the bottom of the branch too. Okay, so when you're happy with that, you can cure it. So we'll cure that for 30 seconds. Now you, you can see on the other nail, we have a little composition with uh, flowers. 
that we have our branches ready. Okay, so I'll start by making the branch a little bit darker, just like I did on the bird. So I'm gonna use exhale just to darken the branch. So this is exhale not mixed with clear. I just remember little shaking hand lines. Make the branches a little bit irregular, looks more natural. Then we can do a couple little accents with white as well, with Arctic Freeze. So we can just give a couple little highlights. Okay. So that cures 30 seconds. Now I'll just do the same thing on the other branch. Just because you can see we have two. So obviously all this is optional. I just like to show you guys a little composition. So we just make the bottom of the branch darker. I think one of the most difficult things for beginners is knowing where to put the highlights and the shadows. So what I recommend, until you get comfortable with it, until you know it automatically, to uh, copy pictures. So I recommend that you go on Pinterest and you find nice reference pictures and follow along with those because it's going to be easier than trying to memorize and do it from memory. So we see we have a couple little flowers on our accent nails and they're primarily with Arctic Freeze. Gonna add a little bit more clear. So the, the flowers on the accent nail can just be really simple, three, four petals, doesn't have to be too complicated. So I'm just going to draw some petals. So just totally really simple three four petal flower okay well uh, cure that we do one over here we'll do a little four petal flower this time So one, two, three, and then one more petal in the background. So now we cure that for 30 seconds. Now we go back to our bird. So you see we need to add the little feet to the bird.
So we do that with the art form gel paint and I have the micro striper brush. So we can start with his little legs. Hi, Aunt Kathy, nice to see you. So we start with the little legs, make sure they start in the body. And then we can do his little claws. Okay, thank you. Now you can see the center of the flowers have a blue color. So we have the same colors that, of the bird. So while the bird's curing, I'm just gonna color in the uh, petals on the other flowers. So very simple, just a little bit of color in the center. Clean my brush and press to blend. Flash cure. And do the same on the other one. So it's very easy since this color is super light and it's mixed with clear. It's very easy to apply it. It's not going to be too harsh. And then we can go back and add stronger color after. But if we start with the color that's too strong, it's going to be really difficult to blend and it's going to be liney. So it may look very light like nothing right now, but this will be much easier to add the intensity. Thank you, Isha. Esha. Okay, so we'll cure our accent nails now for 30 seconds. So, let's see, what's next? Now we can add a little bit more uh, brown color with exhale. So now I'm using the micro striper brush because I'm going to work with smaller quantities. So I apply with the mini gel striper and then I'm going to blend with the, or I applied with the micro striper and now I'm blending with the mini gel striper. So all the brushes that I'm using and the gel polish and paints, it all can be found at nailtechsupply.com. So if there's anything that you need that I'm working with today, um, you can head on over there. They're shipping and they'll be happy to hear from you. I can add a little bit more color to the branch. So I hope everybody's using this time to practice and develop their skills and just think about their business and you know, what, what you wanna do. It's definitely a difficult time for everybody, especially if you're like a workaholic. I've never been home for two weeks at a time like this with absolutely no, with no work. So this is very different. <laughs> it's been, a, I'm, I'm very Buddhist about it right now. <laughs> check with me after another seven weeks of this. So we add a little bit more color to the branch. Hi, Henrietta, good to see you. So 
So now I'm gonna take a little bit more of the darker blue, put this on the palette. So I'm gonna add a little bit more intensity to the flowers. So I'm using the micro striper brush. And we can start just with um, applying a little center. So I just do a little dark center. We can separate some of the petals. And you see I can apply on both and I can just cure it one time. Before I cure, I'm just gonna pull out a little contour line on this one. Stop, oh, cure. So the next step for the bird is we're gonna apply top coat and then you can see I have some fine detail lines with the art form gel paint, with the white gel paint. So obviously you can do any kind of little accessories that you want. Okay, so there's our birdie before we seal it. So now I have top it off. So I'm going to top coat the whole nail. A little trick, um, before you cure the top coat, you can turn the nail upside down for a few seconds. It lets the gravity uh, pull it down towards the center. So it just helps you make a smoother surface. That's totally optional. Okay. So then you cure that for 30 seconds. So now I'm gonna add a little bit more shadow to the flowers. So you can see the flowers that are on the accent nail, they have a little bit darker blue in the center. So now I'm just gonna add a little bit more color. So I'm using the mini gel striper brush and making waves, a little bit mixed with clear. And then just add a little bit darker color to the center. Clean your brush and then just press on the border to blend. And we do the same on this one. So again, this is making waves mixed with clear. Just add a little bit darker blue to the center of the petals. So it's a really simple flower, and the reason why I chose the simple flower for this is because the bird's very detailed. So if you have everything super, super detailed, it's, it's hard to focus on one thing. So you kind of have to um, control yourself with the details. <laughs> so that's why the, the other flowers are really simple. Okay, so we have our bird. It's been covered with Top It Off gonna add a little bit of um, black shadow mixed with clear to the bottom of the branches as you can see we have that on the other one so a very small small amount of the black mixed with clear So 
Do remember a little bit shaky line makes the branch look more natural. Cure that. Now we do the same here. So it's black mixed with clear, mini gel striper. And cure. Okay, so now our bird's come, been cured, been top coated. Now I'm just cleansing the surface, get rid of the sticky layer. And then the last step is to do these little fine lines with the white art form on the surface. So we do on the eye, along the beak, the wing, the top of the head, and the whole outer belly. So I have the art form gel. And the micro striper brush. And we can start in the eye. The small little dot. A little bit along the beak. And there's very, very fine lines all along the contour. You definitely can hold your breath when you do these lines. It's gonna be better. So a little bit along the belly, along the top of the head, the bottom of the head. Now I go along the top of the head now. And the wing. Okay, so when you're happy, you can cure for uh, 30 seconds. Then now our little accent nails need top coat. Now we have top it off. Sorry guys, I had to see what I was doing there for a second. Okay, so we put top coat on the two nails. So that cures for 30 seconds. So you can see we have our birdie. And now the last thing is we just need a few little dots and a few contour lines for our two little accent flowers. But there's the birdie.
So if you guys get a chance to try this composition, um, definitely make sure you show me and send me pictures. And if you'd like more information about this type of painting, I have a new class coming up. It's um, watercolor effect animal painting. So we're gonna learn puppies, kitties, wild cats, domestic cats, dogs, and a few other little surprises. So um, watch for information for that class. If, if you'd like information, um, you know, you can either comment on this video or you can send me a private message and I'll send you the info as soon as it's ready. But um, this is just a little sample from that new class that I'm really excited about. So now we're almost finished with our composition. Now I just need to cleanse. And now we have white art form. And you can see we just do little dots for the center and then the outer contour lines for the flowers. I have the micro striper brush, make sure we can see. Okay, we just do little dots. And then little contour lines. So you can start by outlining the petals and then you can do a couple little lines in the middle. So a little line around the contour. And then you can take a couple of those lines towards the center. So now we cure that. Now we do the same on the other nail. <clears throat> so we just do the little contour line. This flower has like the little apple shape in the middle. So we can do a little highlighting around that. And a contour line. It's really important, this kind of petal, that we do the contour line correctly so that it has the right shape along the bottom. A little background petal, and then one more. So just little contour lines. If you want, you can add a little white line to the upper edge of the branch if you think it needs it. So now the full curing time for art form is uh, 30 seconds. And then since art form doesn't have a sticky layer and we applied it on a freshly cleansed surface, it doesn't need any other top coat on top. So you can always add these little decorative lines on the surface. And what's nice about gel paint is you don't have to seal them so it makes it look more 3D.
Okay, so now our little composition's ready. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you enjoyed um, this kind of tutorial where we're painting lots of things all at once. Um, you know, we'll see how it went. I'm gonna review the video. Hopefully it didn't wasn't too confusing, but we have lots of time on our hands. So I thought it would be nice to do some longer videos and maybe a little bit more difficult compositions, but this is a beginner one. But if you are an animal lover and you want to learn more about painting with gel polish and um, it's really interesting because we're studying more about proportions and creating realism. So it gives you an opportunity to um, learn some new things, get ready for spring and summer. And also, if you participate in nail art competitions, uh, nail art competitions, the information that I have to give you is going to be really, really useful to get good scores. So, of course, this is great for nail art, but, um, you know, for salon clients, but this is also really helpful for your competitions. So if you're interested in joining us for this online class, just comment on the video or send me a private message. So I want to thank you again for watching. It really helps when you guys are here and I see all my friends here. So it makes everything easier and the nerves a little bit less. So I hope you enjoyed. Send me a picture of your practice and everybody have a beautiful evening. Thank you very much.